Hi, I'm Tiffany Chapuzio Wong, a technical marketing engineer with Aruba Networks, and today I'll be talking to you about the integration of Aruba Central into the HPE GreenLake Cloud platform. Specifically, I'll be walking you through some common MSP workflows that'll be helpful in navigating the migrations of Aruba Central into the HPE GreenLake Cloud platform. For existing Aruba Central customers, you don't need to worry about creating a new GLCP account. Your account will be migrated automatically. The following MSP workflows are applicable for new GLCP MSP accounts after the 255 upgrade. Once you've created your account on the GreenLake Cloud Platform, you can now enable MSP mode. In GLCP, you'll have to log into the account as an administrator and select the setting menu in the upper left corner. Click on Manage, and you'll be taken to the Manage Account page. As you can see here, this account is a standard enterprise account type. Click on Manage Account Type, and you'll be taken to a page with an option to check your eligibility. Before checking your eligibility, if there are any devices and subscriptions assigned to applications on your account, you will need to remove them before converting. Also, any applications that do not support MSP mode will also need to be removed prior to conversion. Please note, currently the MSP account type is eligible for MSPs who provide Network as a Service. Now that your eligibility has been confirmed, you can now convert to MSP mode you will get a second confirmation pop-up where you will reconfirm that you are converting to an MSP account. Please note, once you confirm, you and all other users associated with the account will be logged out while the account is being converted. Now that you've enabled MSP mode on your account, you can verify that the MSP account type has been enabled by logging back into the GreenLake Cloud Platform, selecting the Settings menu in the top left corner, and the account type will be Managed Service Provider Account. In order to install the central application and customer accounts, we'll need to install the central application at the MSP level. To do this, you'll need to head to the application section of the GreenLake Cloud Platform. Select Available Applications to view all the apps that are available to be installed on the account. From the drop-down menu on the right, you can filter applications by region. Once you've selected your region, you can install the central application for that region by clicking on the Add on the App tile itself. Once the application is installed, you can launch it to view the central application from an MSP perspective. In order to add a new user to the HPE GreenLight Cloud Platform, Click on the Invite Users tile in the home page. After adding the email ID of the new user, you can select the role you would like to assign to them. The three default roles are Administrator, which would assign the user as an account administrator for the account. If the user is responsible for managing multiple accounts, they can easily switch between the accounts, but can only manage one account at a time through the platform. Next, we have Observer. This role allows the user to view the account home page and all global settings pages. Finally, we have Operator, which can view and modify settings in the account home page and all global settings pages. After selecting the role for the new user, select the Send Invite option to add the user to the account. Once the user accepts the invite from the received email, you should see the newly created user under the Assign User Access tile. This new user just has access to the content under the HPE GreenLake Cloud Platform. So in order for us to provide this user with access to the central application, we'll need to provide access under the Assign User Access tile. Then we'll need to select Create Assignment to create a role for this user. Select the user which you would like to assign the role to. Then select Add Roles. This will show you the apps that you can provide access to this user. For this user, I want to provide administrative privileges at the MSP level and view only privileges in the tenant level. So I will select both the roles, and now I can choose the scope of the roles. By default, the roles are applied to MSP and tenant levels. Once I'm done with the changes, I select Create Assignment to add these new roles. From 255 onwards, we will be referring to tenants as customers. 
To create a new customer account, log into the HPE GreenLake Cloud platform as an administrator. Select the Settings menu on the top left corner and select Customer Account. Then click on Add Customer and enter the customer details. Please note that the customer name should be unique across the entire Common Cloud platform. After entering the details, select Create Account. Now you can launch into the GLCP instance of the newly created customer by selecting the Launch button within the Customer tile. In GLCP, you'll need to install the central application within the customer account to access it from central at the MSP level. Now that you've created the customer account, we can now install the central application. To do this, we must be within the GLCP instance of the customer in which you want to install the application. Navigate to the Settings menu in the top left corner and select Applications to open the Applications page. Select Available Applications where you should be able to see the central application with an option to add. If you do not see the central application, please go back to the MSP level and ensure you've installed the application at the MSP level. Customers cannot install applications that are not installed by the MSP. Once the application is installed at the customer level, you can now launch the central instance of the customer. To set an MSP group as the default group of the newly created customer account, navigate to the MSP view in Central. In the MSP dashboard, scroll to the newly created customer account and click on Edit. From here, toggle the Add to Group option and select the MSP group you would like to map to the default group of the customer. Click on Save to finalize these changes. On the GLCP Home, you can click on the Onboard Device tile to launch the Device Management section. In this section, you can onboard devices and add them to customer accounts. In this video, I'll be onboarding a network device. I can onboard this device using two methods. I can add the device using its serial number and MAC address, or I can also onboard multiple devices at once by uploading a CSV of serial numbers and MAC addresses. There is a sample file which you can download to view the required format of the CSV file. To onboard this device, I'll be clicking on the Add Device and providing a serial number and MAC address. Once I click on Add Device, this device will be added to the MSP inventory. In this environment, I've enabled Autosubscribe which automatically assigns a subscription to newly added devices. As I mentioned before, you can also assign devices to applications and customer accounts in this section. Let's add the device which I onboarded to the customer I just created. I need to first select the device that I would like to assign to the customer, then select Assign Devices. This will open a form where I can select the customer to whom I'd like to assign the device to. Now I must select the application and application instance of the customer to which the device should be assigned to. Once you're on the GLCP Home, you can click on the Subscriptions tile to add and manage subscriptions. In the Subscriptions section, you can view the existing subscriptions that are already in the account. You can view how many licenses are available for a subscription, as well as you can click on a subscription to see which devices are using that subscription. To delete a customer account from GLCP, log into the platform as an administrator. Please note that you'll need to delete all applications that are installed in the customer account before the account can be deleted. To do this, we navigate to the Settings menu in the upper left-hand corner and select Customer Account. Then launch the GLCP instance of the customer you would like to delete. To delete installed applications, click on the App Catalog tile to view the applications installed in the customer account. Select View Details of each application. Then select the ellipses on the right-hand side of the screen. Then choose Remove All Applications to delete all instances of the application from the customer account, then confirm it. Please note that when you delete an application in the customer level, all devices and licenses that are assigned to the customer would return to the MSP inventory. 
Verify that there are no applications installed in the customer account before returning to the MSP level. Return to the MSP account, then select the Settings menu in the top left corner. Then select the Customer account. Click on the Edit button on the customer you would like to delete, then select Delete. When prompted, type in DELETE in all caps in the pop-up window to confirm deleting the customer account. To customize your GLCP portal for your customers, log in as an administrator. Click on the Settings menu in the top left corner and select Manage. Click on the Portal Customization tile where you'll be brought to the Portal Customization page. Here you can select Edit Portal Details and begin customizing your customers' portals. When finished, select Save Changes. To verify your portal customization is complete, you can select the Send Sample Email option in the lower right.